Hello, I'm Philip Rhodes and I'm going to show you how to use the URL Tag Builder for Google Analytics. This feature, this tool, is actually really buried. For the index of everything in the world, Google sometimes puts its stuff in some pretty weird places. Um, for starters, you're not going to go to google.com slash analytics to get to this tool like you would expect to. Instead, you're going to go to google.com slash support. Once you're at google.com slash support, you will go down to analytics help. Click on that. Then you will scroll down the page until you get to Tracking Basics. Click on that. Tracking Basics will take you to this page. You will find Tool URL Builder. Click on that. That will finally bring you to the URL Builder, the Google Analytics URL Builder tool. Um, and basically what this does is it lets you take a web page URL that you already have the Google Analytics code on. I can't stress that enough. You need the Google Analytics code from your Google Analytics account to already exist on the URL that you will be sending traffic to. Otherwise, this URL tagging is completely useless. I'm going to assume that since you're looking for how to do this, you already figured out how to put the analytics code on your, on your website. Um, so to start, you put in the, the URL that you're trying to send traffic to. For me, it's prpuppet.com. All right. Then your campaign source. Is the traffic going to be coming from Google, from a particular blog, from a newsletter that you're sending out? For me, it's going to be traffic from my SMNR resources. So I'm going to put in SMNR, my social media news release. Campaign name. Now you can put in uh, something that definitely identifies this campaign. Uh, is it the banner campaign? Is it an email outreach, etc.? cetera? Uh, for me, it'll probably be my banner. Um, it'll probably be my flash banner. You can put in a campaign term, uh, paid keywords, campaign content. You don't need to, they're not, they're not starred. Um, then you put in a campaign name. Uh, for me, this would probably be uh, anything that comes from the SMNR. So I'll just put in, uh, in fact, I'm gonna put in PR Puppet as the campaign name. Okay, so. PR Puppet is the campaign name because it's traffic going to prpuppet.com. So you've got all of the required information filled in on this form. All right. Then you just click generate a URL. It generates this nice URL with all of the tags which will be used for your analytics later on. You can see here it tells you about all of that. It's really that easy. Then you can take this URL and put it in, in the place of this URL in any of your banner code or flash banner, uh, source code, anything like that. And Google will track click-ins to your particular website web page. And that's all you have to do. Uh, this is Philip J. Rhodes, and I hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you. Let me know what you think. Remember to fave, five star, and subscribe. There will always be more. Catch you guys later. Bye.